All right, so we got science. Oh, yeah, all right. We're going to go for orbit. That's right. So, let's start with this one. Now this one was pretty good. Pretty sure my problem came down to just no aerodynamic stabilization on the second stage. Not really sure where I can pull parts out of though. Tell you what. I think I'm just gonna make this one fuel tank. Just send it up like that. That works, no. May need some sort of an adapter here. Uh almost. Actually, I might be able to resize this. Or not. Um, I guess let me check fuel tanks again and see if I can find something in here. I don't know. It's closer. I think I might just have to go with something like that. And do I have any actual wings? Sure. I think I'm just going to have to go with those. So, that is entirely way too fucking powerful. On a nice control descent. Yeah. Nice control descent all the way up. there and enable crossfeed. All right, well, I think this will work. So, lock 2, vehicle 1, flight 1. And we'll go ahead and build it. Actually, we'll build 2. Just in case. I feel like I'm going to be able to use the second one edited.
for orbital flight. I'm going to go ahead and have them build a new launch complex too. Warp to complete. And go ahead and roll it out. And I'm going to warp to sunrise. There we go. And launch it. I should probably make sure I have the right contracts. I'm pretty sure I got escape the atmosphere for the contract. Alright, so throttle up, check stage in. I believe I am ready. Let's go ahead and launch. Just gonna go straight up, straight down. That is some very pretty exhaust. Throttle down just a wee bit. Don't want to go too fast up. Start tipping now. And full throttle. Get all the way up there. I'm not sure I'm going to make 70,000. Might, maybe. There's 70 kilometers. Okay. I'm gonna keep going up here. And I'm gonna ride this up. Go ahead and throttle down. So I'm just riding this up out of the atmosphere right now. We have not lost control. Control is just gonna wave in and out for a bit. And... out of the atmosphere for the first time. Some very nice music. Usually have music turned off in games. But that almost makes it emotional. Hey, what gives? You're supposed to keep spinning. Alright, well, we're gonna come back in now. 
go ahead and get that staged. All right. Man, oh man, I hope it survives. There's the shoot. Ooh, wee. That was some wicked G force, I'm sure. 47.3. I know that wasn't on launch. Oh. Did it crash? Oh. Booster must have just hit the ground. Alright, we're just gonna write this shoot down. Hey, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and program one of these up for orbit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause while I finish doing this. What I'm wanting is to just make it nice and smooth all the way to orbit. Get all this programmed up. So then at this point, what I want is Apoapsis.
and then run that. Staging engines. Ah, I'm going to have to do an action group for it. Uh, yeah, sure. Abort should be fine. So that should run it all the way to orbit. Name it real simple. Save it. Close that. And now I can resume this, and provided my next one has enough built to be, I should be able to make it all the way to orbit with it. Only 14 kilometers away. It's not that bad. Even managing to land on a hill. And just to make sure that they're all done. Because you know me, I'm all about my science. So I got two running. And done. None of them running. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a success. Okay. And scrap that one. And let's edit this one. What I really need is more parts and I can make it to orbit no problem. change where that is and change that tank. I can get rid of that coupler. That is a decoupler. And now it's literally just what is the strength of this engine. that off, pull those off, grab one of those, stick that on there, stick that back to the bottom, and then stick these back on. 2.24, holy crap that thing is strong. throw a solar panel on there, do I? Part of me wants to say, I think it'll make it. is a frickin' trooper for sure. I 
think let me add another tank in here all right what you got one and a half that will work that looks really weird but if it works it works save save edit Go ahead and zoom through that. Oh, Launchpad 2 is done. And I don't know about upgrading that. I'm going to upgrade that for sure. And I need to make sure that I have the contracts to get to orbit. So, Orbit Kerbin, Orbit Kerbin, ah, I will wait to do that, still got that other mission to go to 5k with the sounding rocket, I should probably get that one done. USI Avionics, USI oh, Sounding man. Rocket. Click the wrong building. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't upgrade that one just now. So this one's going to be super simple, just got to get to 5k real fast, get a little bit of extra money. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's open Charlie 1-1. One, one. Selling USI sounding rocket. I think that's one of these. So let me pull that off. Pull that off too, because I'm going to want some fins on this. And I can only do two fins, but it should hopefully be enough. Um, that one. Go ahead and limit back down to 50. So that was before I started doing the block and vehicle numbers. That should be vehicle 4, flight 1. Save, launch. And good to go there. So I'm going to build that one up real fast, launch that off, off one of the pads, and then launch the super tall spaghetti rocket. Ah.
Yeah, we're gonna go for that. Ooh, I've got enough science. What, oh, what shall I get? So I don't have enough for that. Are there strap-on parachutes in this? There's a radial parachute. Some airbags. Hmm. <laughs> Reaction wheels are controlled by bouncing against the side of the pod vigorously. There's another drug parachute. Arguably, I might want flight control a little bit more. I'm gonna go for that one. And then I don't really have enough to get any others. So then, uh, roll that one out. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. This one should satisfy all the, the needs of that contract. Full throttle, SAS, just get it up in the air. Just go straight the fuck up. I am done fucking with it. Are you fucking shitting me? I don't care, I'm done with it. Batteries aren't done, don't be silly. I guess all the science is already done. Yep, all done.
Thanks for the follow, man. Gonna scrap that one. And as soon as this one's done, it, we should be ready to get to orbit with it. Wrote a program a minute ago in MechJeb that uh, should do it all the way, just in case we lose connection. All right, here's this goofy looking thing. Scripting module is what I used. I load that one. And I suppose we're gonna hit start. Compact GUI. Compact GUI, please. So the first one should be 2,500 meters, and then it should lean over to about 80. Yep. And then we're looking for 5 kilometers, and we'll lean it over to 70. Maybe. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. Seven and a half, drop it to 60. At 10, we're gonna drop it to 45. And at 20, we should be dropping it to 30 degrees and start to watch the apoapsis instead. not stable enough, apparently. Let's see if we can pick it back up here. That's gonna be a no. Gonna be a definitely not. But I'm not sure that that is a failure of the program. I think it might be a failure of the rocket. There's engine out. So we're just going to go ahead and pop off. Pop the parachute down to 250. And throttle to zero. Because now all we can really do is sit here and wait. And I'm just going to have all of these open just to make sure that I get all the signs I can. Want that one open too. So it's got an experiment. Okay. Well, I guess let's just time warp back to back to the ground. Made it a pretty good distance down range. If I hadn't started spinning, I'd have probably been fine.
I'm going to speed up the ball back to earth here. And I'm going to double check this here. I think I want to change apoapsis greater than 30. Um, I feel like my problem was I was going up too fast and I started turning too quickly. And then as soon as the the top caught all the air, I just didn't have enough gimbal or fin to correct it. Um, I also want to put an engine start at the very beginning. Uh, staging will work. All the way up. I'm not sure there's much else that I can really do to it. Actually, eh, I'll make that zero. And then I actually want to turn Smartass off. and save that. So that'll be their nec our next attempt. We'll use that program, see how that works. Let me pop that back open for a quick second. Because I want to add another staging at the end of it. Just so it can pop parachutes if it doesn't make it to orbit. Um, one of them was running. Gonna wait till that's done. Oh, wrong button. Alright. None of the others are running. Okay. And recover. So, I know what I did wrong. Pretty sure I know how to fix it. Hurry up and recover it. Scrap. Yes. I'm tempted to put bigger fins on it. I feel like that might be about the only way to actually fix it for the moment. Alright, so uh, block three, load. <laughs> Pull those off. Four of these bad boys are on. Don't have any extra pieces in there. Let me check the thrust limiter down here. Uh huh.
think I'm actually going to take one of these out and replace it with a slightly shorter one. Something about like that. So I'm just going to call this block 3.5. Damn. That must be the granddaddy of the RL-180. Alright, we're gonna fly with this one. Go ahead and build that. While that builds, I am going to have to run to the bathroom.
freshly returned from the bathroom, full of vigor and empty of poop. Well, some of those might be done eventually. And roll that one out. And launch. This one should make orbit. Ooh, actually, I need to change that program a bit. Now that I think about it, there's a better way to do that. Okay, let me pull up scripting module and I'm gonna hit pause. So load that one. Wait for Apple apps is greater than seventy. Oh, I didn't I didn't bind fucking action groups either. Uh modules. Thought there was a better way to do it. Trajectory? Maneuver, yeah, alright. Circularize at the next apoapsis. I'll delete that. Turn well. Surface. I want to set it to zero. And then turn it off, and then it can stage parachute. And I will save that. Resume. Start. And I'm going to limit it to about two and a half thrust weight ratio. time to get up there. I know there's a gimbal somewhere in here. I thought. Or not a gimbal, but reaction wheel. Maybe not. Like, it definitely wouldn't surprise me to find out I'm wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong, so I'm just gonna hit the throttle and let it ride. Fact. I'm going to stage that and set this to open at 700. And I'm going to go ahead and get all these set to. Because 
let's fork it. I'm not going to get to orbit, and I know it. So I can at least try and get some science out of it. Why isn't persistent rotation working? Ah, okay. So then I probably should have taken that radiation belt. Uh, the radiation belt contract. So there is no signal, but that's already armed. So as long as it doesn't burn up, I should be good. But it is whipping down. Tons of G's. I think I might be all right. There's a shoot. Oh God. Okay. How many G's was that? 54. Holy crap. So I lost... Okay, that's not that bad. The experiment should continue running. And I should go all the way to the ground under parachute. to the bottom. I wish, I wish there was a little bit faster physics time warp. Just get all the way down. Just a wee bit faster. Let's see how far I made it this time. Uh, ah, right there. Uh, not terribly far. Not terribly close. There's the shoot. <laughs> Something I didn't look at. Look at that sunrise. <coughs> and splash. Nothing running. Recover.
All right. Well, didn't make it to orbit that time either. But I think I now have... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and warp to all this done. That way I should have some better parts. Maybe I should actually make it to orbit. I'm going to finish the AB2. I will definitely make it to orbit this time. Now that I have the ability to have more than 30 parts, got more engines, got better flight control surfaces, I should be good to go. Alright, so I'm just going to start with block 3.5 down here. Actually, I'm going to start with block 3. Because it's got a little bit more fuel in it. And let's start with control surfaces. Some actual decent wings. Or fins. Okay. Engines, how's engines look? the Ito Sandstone. I thought I was using the bell engine still. So that makes 140 pounds, or kilonewtons. Yeah, 140 kilonewtons. That's gonna be, yeah, it's a bit too big. That's probably going to be too big, too. Oh, no. Actually, fits pretty well. Makes tons of power. Tell you what, actually. I'm just going to start from there. And I think I can actually even put a couple doors back on it. Okay, so payload. You know what? You know what? We're just gonna start a whole new rocket. Block one, vehicle one, flight one. Alright, so right from the top. Um do we have anything? Yes, we do. I will use this. Although, for some reason it does not like that to be the root part. So that'll be the root part, and we will build everything into this. So there's a probe bus. Do it like that then. Play with me. Alright. Um, before I get too far, point two, one, point five. So we're gonna go with the with the one. And 
we're gonna push those as far as we can get them. Go over to communication, make sure we have at least a fucking, at least one. Stick those up there. Okay, so to science. I'm actually gonna make a second pod for science. This is going to be all control, it's going to be all science. So, let me start with the big ones. rest of these. I'm noticing that some of these probably should have been withheld for a bit through tech tree. Slide that in there. this in here somewhere. I think that'll work. Put that in there. Very large, isn't it? Yeah.
there is a gigantic number of scientific instruments in here now. So I'm gonna get them all ready to go. That way, when I'm flying, I don't have to mess with them. Okay, I think that is everything I want to pack into there. So I'll tell you what, I'll also pack in some extra battery packs. That should be enough battery power. Close. Close. Um, also probably going to want a heat shield for this. So there's that. And... I'm not going to use the spin devices. Don't really feel like I want to. I guess in here I'm going to put some of these. I am already at 50 pieces, holy crap. Okay. And on the outside, if I can get some, if I can find some decent solar panels. ones that go with. Oh god. Oh lord, that was huge. Not sure I can get away with something that big.
that I think I can get away with. And they track, so I don't have to worry about pointing it at the sun all the time. Okay. So then, I'm gonna want something to kind of distance that from the payload fairing. So there's the payload. That's the satellite going into orbit. And now I need to go. I mean, not to have that put on there, all kinds of wonky. Um, not sure if I like that one. can't I get just a normal payload fairing at 1.25 meters? Got too many freaking payload fairings. Guess let me go for like 1.5 meter. Really not digging that one that much either. That thing's freaking huge. do this one. Boom. That's all I needed. And you know what? I'm even going to try to recover the booster. Actually, that's not going to be the booster, is it? That's going to be on top of the second stage. Oh, it's... I now feel like I'm going to have problems getting something to take. Oh, okay. So let me find an engine for this. Nope. Uh, I don't know if I really like that one. Didn't 
tempted to just go with that one. Although, I think I want one that's got some gimbal to her. I, mean, I don't need a whole, whole heap of kick, but I do think I'm going to need some gimbal. Breeze. Breed breeze. This one don't have no gimbal. Four degrees, huh? I have to go with this one. See if I can't make some sort of reusable booster. too much. That is as far as I'm going to take that. I do, however, want to make some sort of ring here that I can mount, the, mount it all to. what I'm looking for either. is the strongest. Uh, 
I think they might be about all the same. I think so. So then... This is what I will do. Just go make a line of about five of them. So that will be the control for that. Let me see if I have any good radial. Yes, I do. So then we're going to put those there. Put these over here. Aww. Actually. That's what we're going to do with those. So we have got four of each. I actually want to find somewhere to put these, these stabilizer flaps first. Because I don't really feel like coming in top first. Okay. So now, ready to do the rest of the booster. Fourteen hundred, fourteen hundred. Not sure it really matters. I do want to fit this in up here. Yeah, and that one. And I will drop it down just a bit. Okay. So then back down here and need to find an engine that might be preferable there but it is quite weak all right let me let me just get my stage in somewhat right here so that is drogue that is primary shoots Ah, yeah, all right, all right. I actually want to put some sort of deorbit, some sort of deorbit device up here at the top. This one has RCS in it, doesn't it? Uh, got practically none. So I guess. See if I can't make a deorbit device out of this. bunch of these on here. And 
then I should hopefully be able to mount a couple RCS engines as well. Uh, probably a few more there than I really thought I could get away with. Let's go with something like this. deorbit device, although I think I might need to lean those a bit more, just so they clear. And I'm just going to scoot them out a little bit more too. <coughs> Alright, so we got engine at the bottom, coming up, don't want that one there. That's the one we want. So let's move that one down. That one's gonna go up to the top for a bit. Let's go in there. So the never fired category has started. So boom, boom. Jumps out of there. That should probably be the next thing to fire. Then meow. Those. Ains. Okay. Well, that is practically ready for orbit. The sides not having enough power. So, 297 is how much power that's got. Oh lord. My god. Prometheus RB So 420 is just barely one. Have anything stronger than 420 kilonewtons? There's 420. I'm not sure I do. I may need to use some SRBs for the boost. Yep. Alright. Well, still, I'm gonna go ahead and do some retro rockets on here. These will work. So I want those to fire when. Yep, okay. Do I have any landing legs? quite strong enough, is it? Not quite long enough. Okay, well, got some legs, got an engine.
so that was a little bit weird. Um, it's almost at 200 freaking parts, which is a ton. So, just for to kick off the pad, so some of these on. Stable auto drop. And we're going to set it at 50% thrust. Just because I want them to last a bit. Okay. And the last thing we'll do is turn them into the bottom there. So they look like an integrated part. Actually, I'm going to put them here and the landing gear off to the side. Just for ease of location. And I'm going to squeeze them in, bring it down just a bit. Squeeze it in. I said in. Okay. I think that is good to go. jobs for the last quick second. I didn't know that was an option. I'm just gonna go with gray. I know me, and I know that first one isn't going to survive. <clears throat> okay. Throw an upgrade into that, see if I can't get it built a little bit quicker. And what can I unlock? Uh, get a little safety light going. Um, I think I might unlock. Oh, got the struts. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Scoop that up, and 45 days. So one of them should be built before 
uh, before that gets done. And roll out. Warp to complete. And launch. And before I actually take off the pad, I'm going to just double check the programming I got for it. Although I feel like Kerbal Space Program might still have a memory leak in it. Alright. Ooh, I have smart ass now. So I'm going to load that, hit pause and take a look through here do 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 I'm gonna delete that one and delete that one and I think I'm good to go so then full throttle Ooh. Wee bit choppy. I'm gonna need to restart after this. Pull the gear up. Because we are on our way. And uh, I forgot to put fins on. That's probably why this one's not gonna survive. Hopeful. <coughs> it's going to take a minute getting up there, that's for sure. I think I'm having it just start pitching over too late, to be honest with you. Ooh wee, that's a good amount of gimbal on that. I think it might actually be okay. Uh, I think it might just be alright. There's 5k, turn over to 70, verify, waiting on 7.5, and 7.5, 60, waiting on 10, 10 should be coming up in a second, ooh wee, this boost is going to need to carry me a little bit higher, there's 10, going 45,
way to the goal. I'm going to combine those stages. I'm actually going to even do that. Actually, I'm going to see how it does. open so I'll be able to recover that when I get back or when I get to orbit speed still going up time to apoapsis going down I think that's slowing down though I might be all right up just a bit. Oh, it's probably not strong enough. Let me try ditching those. Uh, didn't like that either. Okay, I'm just going to have to abort. Also, what the fuck happened to one of my solar panels? Oh, shit. I didn't put any parachutes on this either. say they are surprisingly effective. All right, so I've at least got information for the next one. So we'll just go ahead and extend that and have it blow off. For real? Oh, there it goes. And this monoprop is lasting forever. sure that this is going to be enough to actually save this, but it is trying like hell. Oh, am I out of monoprop? Oh, no, lost signal. 
pretty sure all of that is gone. Bye bye. Back to Space Center. I am glad I had a second one started. So, fuck. I should have went to Flight Manager. <laughs> that way I could actually land the other fuck, or the booster. Well, I fucked that one up. Alright, let's edit this one with our freshly gained knowledge. Alright, so, um, this one did not carry us up high enough, but it was quite a launch off the pad. I think, oh, let me, let me undo that and do it to this one. All right, and I'll actually just go ahead and do it to all of them. Actually, it's starting to look kind of wonky, so I'll I'll leave it with those. Bring that down and throw some fins on it back here. So there's some fins. Actually, I want the fins to be able to break off for when I come back down. <coughs> so, throw a decoupler here. Throw the fin on the decoupler. So there's that. Now I need some sort of like a kick stage up here. So let's see. I'm gonna take some of these. I want to push them out and away just a touch. There's that. Um, Throw nose cone on here. So there's that texture. Sure, that one kind of kind of fits. Okay. Um. I don't like that. I don't like that. I feel like that's going to cause too much drag at the top. So I'm going to need to do some sort of inline kick stage. How big is that? Can I make it just a wee bit bigger? Up to five. Cool. So then, need another decoupler in here. Boom, and boom, okay. And, 
just for a surety so that we don't get too wonky. Throw those there and make these a touch bigger. Let me put them back on there again. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. by point two, huh? Well, I think I know how to fix that. Edit fairing. Edit fairing. Okay. Scoot those down. So, let me fly through the staging here real fast. So, boom, boom. Then we come up. That one. Yeah, those two pop. That one might as well go with those. And those two hit. I definitely want to wait to get rid of the fairing until after I get out of the atmosphere. So then those hit, fairing, and then drogue shoot, main main. What is that? Ah, alright. Move that up one. Where is this one? Ah, okay. Okay. So then, this would be vehicle two, two, flight one, save, save edits. Now before I launch this one, I need to restart the game. Alright, I'm going to restart the game real quick. back and close KSP enjoy the lovely stars and trees for a second and play
go look at the other one. The other one's not important right now. Alright, so we were getting this one done up, and then we should be good to fly. It should hopefully get to orbit. out all three hours out to the pad you know what nah it'll look pretty at night Do 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 do. Might be a problem that there's like two hundred pieces in it. Yeah, my PC is not happy about it. But it's not that bad. Okay. Um, I want the scripting module out. Load that one. I want to transfer that to vessel memory as well. Save. does not. I'm gonna say I hope it's got enough thrust. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gear. back down. I'm hoping it burns enough by the time it gets down to the ground that it doesn't blow the whole fucking thing up. Should be landed in a spot where there's nothing on the ground. I guess I should probably ditch as much weight as I can. just to try to make it as easy and survivable as possible. And next time, I will program an abort sequence. And 
think I also need to stop that. Well, at least I didn't lose the rocket this time. I'd say that's an improvement on how I have been doing it. And boom. Right there. Oh god. I was loud in my fucking ear holes. Would this count as my first powered descent? I'm gonna count it as my first powered descent. I didn't lose the rocket. I'm fine with everything else falling off. At least I did not lose the rocket. Oh, got a little bit of science done too. Alright, recover that shit. And edit. Alright, so I'm just gonna open the saved one I have, that way we're back to full fuel, back set up like it should be. Alright, so we need to supplement the first stage for at least a hundred seconds, half the burn. That way it can get up to its full thrust to weight ratio and it can take over. So, these last 9 seconds, that will not do. The Dompa. How long do those burn for? 42, 48, 42, I think we can make it work. I think about 42% is what we're shooting for. We'll go for 41. Alright. So then, they two are going to need some sort of nose cone. That'll work. And don't want to just stick them on there, I want to stick them on with some way to detach them. So just two of them, stick onto there, and I want you to go down. I'm just going to go ahead and start those retracted. Turn that outward just a touch. Click. Click. Perfect. So then, all that should fire. Uh -huh. 
and I would like to try and recover these boosters on the side. So I will slap that there and that there. I will satiate myself by saying, it'll do pig, it'll do. So there's that. Um, ah, yeah, launch clamps. Come all the way up here, to grab it by its root part. Just move it up a few meters. For some reason, I, I just don't like how that attaches. That I can live with. Although this would be even more preferable. So then, think about right there. three of them just to ensure that I have good support. Lose those. And I want those to trigger with that. But I don't want them to impart in force. This is a hell of a rocket. I'm gonna call this block two. And vehicle one of block two, flight one, save, and check staging real fast just to make sure. 1.56. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Yep, yep, yep. Those. That, that booster, those retros, separate, ignite, blow that off, mains, drogue, drogue, uh, capsule separation from second stage, and deorbit package separation. That one doesn't get fired. Alright, save, edits. I think we got it this time. I think we got it whooped. So let's warp to get that done. Not sure what else finished. And roll it out. And screw it, we're going to do a night launch.
all right. So, scripting module. I'm going to load it from the vessel memory. Uh, Alright, we'll load it from there and then save it to vessel memory. Hold a bit. Save. Load. Okay. Um, do, do, do. I will do all the staging. Alright. So start. I think I'm gonna throw this over here. Alright, ready to stage. Staging looks good. Alright, launch. drop out oh lord are you serious it's not enough I think it might just barely get over one by the time we hit zero speed This is a very slow launch. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is very, very slow. Almost down to one, or up to one. Come on. There's one. We're going to go up. And speed is climbing. But those solid rockets are not going to last much longer. And the main tank isn't going to last a whole lot longer beyond that. I may need to go with four thumpers. My god, this thing is so freaking slow getting into the air. We should start speeding up pretty good here. Got to hit this first check at two and a half kilometers. Screenshots. Speed is still climbing. Don't know why that went down there. We are definitely going up this time. How far up? I'm not sure. Why are we rolling? Roll is unnecessary. Quit it any day now. stage these and stage I think one hit one of our fins 
but the parachutes have deployed on both of them. Those will be recovered." "Why are you frickin' spinning?" "I'm not sure we're gonna make it. This thing seems to be havin' control problems." "I'm not sure what the issue is." "I guess we're gonna have to see how far down range we can get." "Let me ditch those fins, see if that helps." "It does seem to have helped." "And we're droppin' to forty five, lookin' for Apalapsis over thirty kilometers." "Gonna need to stage in a minute." "Oh Lord, we are at the max pitch control we have." "That thing is just twerkin' the fuck out." "Alright, we're about to switch to our kick stage here." "Only got a few more seconds left on the booster." "And we're goin' so slow that I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the parachutes." "That way I just don't have to deal with it." Here we go. Nah, get it up there. Stage. And this doesn't really have the thrust to weight ratio to do it, but I think we might. I think I'm going to have to go with four uh, SRVs in the first stage just to get it kicked up into the air hard enough. So I'm not sure this is about to make it. And there's 
30. I'm going to kick that back up to 45. We might be able to get there. Looks like time to apoapsis is slowing down. Set it to sixty. Stopped. Are we about to get back, get get going back up? No. We're close. We're like right on the edge. There we go. Just saw it go back up. We are good. We got the fuel to make it. We can get it. tries to click over at this next one. I'm going to need to fix it again. Tell you what, I don't think we have enough fuel to make it. We've lost too much to gravity. Lost way too much to gravity. Get rid of those. Hopefully, it helps. Verify. Yep, decouple. Okay. Both of these. Extend. Extend. We are way up here. And just to make sure they both catch air, or catch, not air, hopefully, desperately not air. <laughs> Oh, fuck. What did I do wrong? Got charge. Oh, god damn it. Well. Twas a good attempt. Well, I guess now we uh, just tumble back down to the earth, huh? Man, I fucking... I, I knew I wasn't going to get there. 
Don't know how, but I just knew it. Nothing I can even do. I don't think any of it's going to survive. There goes the panels. There's another part of it. I think that's the second stage. I'm not even going to bother with this. <laughs> While I wait, though. So, that one destroyed. That one was recovered. Cool. That one was destroyed. Destroyed. Okay. That should probably be the first stage there. Oh yeah, high frickin' speed. <clears throat> Hell, it's practically slowed down from orbital velocity. Three, two, one, bang. Well gonna load first then bang back to the space center to do a couple more tweaks roll out block four and hopefully it makes orbit All right. So the kick stage works great. Gets it adds quite a bit of velocity. So I'm going to keep that. I think my problem really is just the initial thrust to weight ratio. If I can get off the ground, get to about 15 20 kilometers, should be good to go for the rest of it. So, that being said, um, I think I can get away with these towers right on this side, since the arms do go up. So that's what I'm going to do, is stick the arms here, and then down here, I'm going to grab that. And four times on there. All right. So just for verification, so point four five with these added in, point eight nine.
do that. Add those in. I think I'm gonna derate these some so that they last longer. And I'm gonna make sure maximize power is clicked on all of them. Okay. 2.22 I'm really having trouble coming up with anything else I can do to get this thing into the air besides just make the core bigger. Um, these don't cost a whole, whole lot, so I guess I'm going to go with this one. I'm just going to leave it as block two, and I will make two of them. If it works really, really well, I'll come back and make another two and just use these as my most basic comp sets. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably do. Should probably do reasonable, like purpose built. Uh -huh. See if there's any other contracts I can knock out real cheap, real quick. Sounding rocket to 10,000. Let me check out what these have. The USA. Blossom 1. <coughs> Tell you the truth, I really don't care to do that one. feel like doing that one either, to tell you the truth. Let's see. Build and fly your first airplane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alright. Complete all the flow. Plant a flag on the sun. Well. fly first airplane. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to. Mm -hmm. right. I won't do that one just yet. Build and fly an airplane. Okay. I'm going to design my airplane in here. Like all professionals. Switch to space plane hangar for a quick second. Pretty sure it's the only cockpit I really have. I 
think the only air breathing engine I have is the biplane engine too. So screw it, we're gonna build a weird looking biplane. A biplane that's not a biplane. I don't really care for how the biplane handles. those look aerodynamically like crap that's how they look I'll tell you what though if they was a wee bit bigger they probably wouldn't look a wee bit like crap I'm a little bit confused by that choice of wings in the front. Those are not wings, those are fins. That's a fin. <laughs> Might have to just settle for the biplane wing. I don't think any of these other ones are going to be big enough. However, that works too. I do not get you. I do not get you at all. What's your deal? Tell me your secrets. I don't know, part of me just isn't happy with how it sits in there. strategy here with landing gear. <laughs> Thank you. 
tell you the truth, I'm not super, uh, super convinced that this plane's going to fly worth a crap. take this thing on a couple test flights just to ensure safety and controllability and 10 of those should make oh yeah fuck what am I doing I have better ones Editor and stand this thing upright. Well, I wouldn't really say upright. about as good as I'm going to be able to get. All right, let's just warp. <coughs> kind of excited to test this plane. 
I want to do so in the daytime, though. All right. Remove. Don't want no one in that thing. Not gonna use that at the moment. Uh, what? Control from here, please. Okay. So. I'm actually gonna use smart ass here. That worked about as well as fucking expected. Those also didn't work at all. Okay. Okay. That's also a thing you can do. Are you ever going to stop? Uh, thank you. Like I expected, the first one failed. But that was our first attempt. We can take what we learned from that one and apply it to the second one that was building. Got a weird idea. Max thrust twenty five. Okay. So ditch those. They're not going to work for us. And just a little tilt up. this and stick it there instead.
back it up a bit like that. Scooch it over. Okay. Now move the wing. No, the wing needs to be about right there. So, all that's done. Should probably actually put some wheels on it. Not sure, but I think the last time I tried using wheels, they were a bit buggy. Save that, and there we go. Go ahead and build it. And yes, I am well aware that it looks goofy as all hell with those wheels. that out. <coughs> and let's go ahead and launch. No, get the hell out of there. What the fuck just happened? Due to over holy what the Well obviously I can't can't go back. <laughs> but that's some bullshit.
guess let's see how much it costs. Mm. All right, twenty thousand. So that's too big. One, two, three, four, five. 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 I guess build, build me another one. Zoom through till it's done. Roll it out. You know what? I don't even care. No, Jeb, get the hell out. It's probably going to blow up again. If it blows up again, I'm going to assume those landing gear are cursed. I had problems last time I used those landing gear, so I really don't like using those landing gear. Another problem. <coughs> so, I'm going to assume <coughs> it's those landing here. So. Which is really kind of sad because I'd like to have landing gear like that. Be able to take a good beating. I guess let's try these landing gears. Yeah, fuck. I want to get some, just a wee bit of caster into these. All right. Well, I'll still count that as test two. Because the landing gear fucked me up. And one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That no, that's not right. Should be eight one. Alright, well I guess build me another fucking one. Hell, my rocket's probably done getting built by now.
I'm gonna go ahead and let the rocket get built. All right, let's see if I can get this rocket to orbit while my plane gets built. Scripting module, load, save that to best memory and load it from there. Okay, so got those four, those four, do do do. Man, I think we got a hell of a shot at it. I think we got a hell of a shot at her. So, I don't want it to do any of the staging. just work this time. Whoops. didn't set up an abort procedure either. There's two and a half. Still heading up. Still accelerating. That's what I like to see. Dropping 
60. Here we go with this weird roll behavior. I'm not sure what is causing it to do that. I imagine some sort of odd sort of stall. exploded. Winglet hit the booster. Decoupler hit the booster. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. As long as it didn't blow up anything on my ship. Or on my rocket. I think I might need to make small SRBs uh, auto drop. We are well on our way this time. I've got faith we'll make it. I'm going to tweak just a bit as we go up though. booster. Since we're probably not going to be going all that fast, go ahead and move all the parachutes down. Probably gonna hit thirty K on the apoapsis before we run out of fuel here. So the kick stage will be firing at about forty five degrees. as I go. So there's 30 kilometers. 15 seconds to the kick stage. out of the atmosphere this time. I am sure about it. I 
feel like we're gonna make it to work this time. As long as we can stay within communication range. I'm actually gonna open these just to be sure. Schedule a burn. No? Okay. Stop like that. Deploy all. Transmit. Transmit. circularize before I uh, get out of calm rating, calm distance. That's how. So we're gonna end up re entering. Well, my, it got awfully quiet. Oh, it's because we re entered. Well, Space Center. is likely to be lost as it is. I'll eventually get to orbit, one way or another. Might need to just throw it way up in the air and then go sideways. Well, let's get the good smack down. And boom. Not a thing survived. Back to Space Center. Build me another one of those and I guess just throw it right up into the air. It's only about 
like the sixth or seven, what, seventh one that I've not made it. I'll eventually get there. And, oh, crap, I forgot. I already had another one getting built. Look at me go. It's almost like I knew I would crash the damn thing. You know what? Roll that thing out. Move. Watch. See if I can get this plane to work. This one, control from here. Well, that was some stupidity on my part. Needless to say, this will not work now. Always check your stage and Always check your staging. Well, I guess at least I can get some new parts. I'm gonna go for those. Not even gonna bother looking through them because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I want, what I need. Not even what I want, what I need. And roll it out. All right, this one gonna go damn near straight up till I leave the atmosphere then I'm gonna turn it sideways and just go sideways
small ones out and the large ones are going to keep on going. As soon as it starts doing that set, that shake and shit, we're kicking those fucking winglets off. I need to go ahead and make this adjustment. Editor 2. for the rest of the flight. For system rotation, you can fuck off out of here. It's a chugging, that's for sure. spinning bullshit. But that looks thins out. Get that spinning sorted. Alright. This should make the booster separation a lot safer. Go ahead and get it turned down to 60. Getting close to 10, 10 kilometers. And boom. There go the SRBs in a beautiful fashion. And we are ready for booster separation. Gonna ride this bitch up. Ride this bitch up, let the kick stage burn at 60 degrees. Then, once we separate from the kick stage, then we'll turn down to 45 degrees. Hopefully, it should buy us some more time with connection to KSC and we can actually get it circularized. I can already tell we're not nearly as far down range as we were.
getting it thrown up there this time. kilometers in height. Injection. Boom, 70. Leave the kick behind. And I'm gonna have this boost up to about 100. Oh yeah, we got plenty of fuel this time. Ditch the fairings. There's an eighty five. This time I've done I've 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 wasted a thousand hours in this game. Mode.
there it is. I have finally, finally, finally made it to orbit. So now what I'm going to do is let it come around and I'm going to drop the second stage here, well I guess third stage, down just under 70. Ignition. So I'm going to drop that under 70, about 65 ish, so that it can get deorbited. And do that manually. So now then, wait for that to get a little bit away. Turn all of these on. I mean, I should technically be okay. Okay. So then surface up. Try to pull myself back up out of here. Man, this monoprop goes a long, long way, though. <laughs> Back to the music. That's close enough. Alright, so 
I'm going to go to the track and station, go to the second stage there, and let it fall. I'm glad that I finally made it after about 10 failed attempts. Oh god, is this really the first time I've been in the... <sighs> I thought I'd been in here before. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and recover that one. And yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I want to make sure this gets deorbited first. Alright, here this is. Probably going to take a good long minute, without a doubt. Well. While this comes down, I'm going to go use the bathroom.
finally hit the brick wall, I was taking a break. I may have broke the game. There we go. Mm. Alright. Well, since making orbit, I'm going to see what my next objective will be. And we will start on that tomorrow. Um. Those might have to wait. Turn the court curve in front of orbit. I guess I'll take that. I'm not gonna explore the moon yet. I think what I'm really gonna need to do is do a satellite for some satellites. Tell you what, the designing and building and all that for the comm network will come tomorrow. It's getting late. Thanks for watching.